Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving the Aftermath. In the last video, we located a couple of cars in the wasteland. Uh, one is way off over here by itself. It's an abandoned station wagon. It does have health, but I did also see a comment in last week's video uh, saying that I need the garage to unlock it. I do also have the trade going with Junkton right now, and we pull up this comment real quick my system is running a wee bit slow big bud saying you know well you need you will need the garage to use the cars you can research in the tech tree to unlock it let's actually see what my uh folks are doing and then we'll go ahead and jump into the tech tree so Dafina is heading out to this research site to pull down uh, essentially one cycle's worth of stuff then i'll have her scout out over here maybe over here um Amara is in bad shape, but she's scouting out over here. There is a research outpost. There's a radar outpost actually over here. This one has survivors, so I may actually... I want to set up this one uh, when it comes to research. We have the lone cab with some sturdy clothing. What's up? Nomad is in combat with Bonnie. Bishop is here. Where's Bishop going? Looks like Bishop's coming back to the colony. He's going to be coming back for a bit. We got Boone there, and we have Jin, who is doing some scouting. There is a research outpost over here. Wait a minute. Ten damage for twelve hours. Can't do that. I'm gonna divert him over that way, actually. And does a car found enter a vehicle? So I do want to get somebody diverted over to that. Probably uh, gonna be Bonnie or Boone, who's actually in combat. Have them do that. Now let's take a look at the vehicle stuff. So we have the. The mechanic shop that's further down. This is on the resources tray. I'm already at bartering, but I have to get all, to, all the way down to the garage, which allows vehicle repairs. So this is a little interesting for me. I gotta figure that out. Because if I can get that going, that's all the better. Electronics factory, that's kind of cool. Biofuel, which I mean, it looks like start, yep, producing my own fuel, maybe? Oil from sunflowers, production speed. All right, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I can research. We have, whoops. Um, yeah, so you found an abandoned car that helps transport specialists and resources throughout the map quickly and efficiently. So my understanding with that, just based on what the, the game is telling me, is that I do need, actually I do need Bishop to return because he's got the, the stuff here for the brawl pit. Um, that there is telling me I need to just get in the vehicle and I have it, but once its health wears down or its durability, whatever it is, then I've got a problem and then I have to get it repaired. Uh, oh, let's go to the world map. Oh, we got a lot of people who are done now. Job done. Okay, this whole sector is hostile. And what are you carrying? Jim, what are you carrying on you? You're carrying nothing? Wowza. I'm actually going to have her scout this because she's available to do some scouting. Bishop can get there. He's going to lose work. some health in the process, but he's got the fun boxes and some durable tools. All done. And Amara has located another... Wow. Another bad sector. Um, what's she carrying with her? Not a lot. <sighs> Damn. I will also point out, I am just carrying... Just loaded to the gills with guns. Hmm. I'm gonna come back to her. Mission complete. Hunting rifles. It would take uh, take three cycles to get that. We got some medicine over here. We got some superior tools. Can you get to that car? Hello. <laughs> and now the car has health. I think I'm just going to drive this car. Actually, I'm going to come up here with it. Okay, and I do lose health when I drive the vehicle, and it does have action points. But I can put up to four folks in it, so I'm kind of thinking, collect, the, collect them with the car, bring the materials back to the site, send it back out into the field. Huzzah! Alright, we're researching crowbars for a little bit of extra production, but I also, this video, want to put an emphasis on improving housing. So, let's go into my soil fertility. I can do a couple extra shanties over here, or I can build some shanties back here. Reason being obvious. 
I want to start building up the shanties to improve the happiness because folks are looking kind of upset. I do see there's some restlessness, understandably so, but also putting these four out here where there's a lot of materials available, we have that. Um, we are also building up the advanced scrapper, which lets us do more, more quickly, I guess. Um, yeah, this area, I almost want to demo the recycler because it ain't doing much for me right now. Nope. Oh, wait. Let's get you as a carrier right now. Now, we're good on food for the moment, so I'm going to hang on to that. But having extra vehicles available, obviously, can be super, super helpful. Um, I want to request... Oh, food stores what I need to build up here. I want to essentially kind of do a, a secondary site for this stuff. Damn. It's just like, these buildings are just a skosh too big. Alright, we've got the advanced scrapper going here. Go ahead and do that. No active deposits in the work here. Let's go ahead and move our deposits out to Nya. We'll go ahead and put it out there. Tons of metal available for that. Um, we're going to have three colonists probably leave, but that's kind of okay because we've got we've seven carriers. Stuff. Crowbar is going to let people work a little bit faster for us. Yay. Um, I'm going to do durability roof supports for the shanties just to make them a little better. Oops. And back up to there. We're about halfway through this cycle. Right, I never gave Amara a task. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have her go scout. We're gonna get another person in a couple of days. So I've got my scavenger, scavenger, scientist, scientist, fighter, scout, scout. Another fighter would be great. And of course, if one of these folks that I'm, I'm gonna hopefully get here in the next couple of days is good, air quotes, uh, then I can... You know, swap one of these folks out for a settler. If they're bad, I'll just turn them into a settler right away and send them off elsewhere. Plenty of plastic trash to be working with. We have all these carriers out here, but I don't know. Aha. Uh -huh. And then hopefully, as I continue to improve up here, I can get, I can start kind of phasing these things out. So this emergency shelter, nobody's in it right now. So I'm going to demo it. Because we actually have better shelters for everybody throughout the place. And I will go ahead and swap it out for a shanty. It's so like tenements decreased birth rate, but this is an improved shelter. That's kind of what I'm looking for, is just some better stuff for my folks. I also do notice that the shanty footprints are a bit larger than the tent footprints. The tent footprints look like it's what? Four by four, and these shanties are five by five. So, when I build when I build these guys up, it's going to have an impact on this. So this will probably be bumped out a little bit. I won't be able to get a third one in here unless I kick the road out a little ways. But I also don't want to interfere much with the trappers. Because the trappers have actually a really good uh, production. They're actually able to produce quite a bit. It does also make me think I need to think uh, consider excuse me, uh, doing a cookhouse over here. I'm running very low on plastic right now which is kind of telling me that I need to put a second person on this. Also, probably reactivate this guy. Okay, I can get three of these guys there. And we're going to put that there. We're going to put... So we're going to be down on carriers. Uh, we've got the hostile, so we got that done. We won the battle. 55 coin. And this is a hangar. Right. So we can get them there. Lose a little bit of health. That's okay. All right. Get in. Get in. And bring it back to the colony. Drop off everybody. Get them all to uh, rest and recuperate. Then send it back out into the wasteland. Right. How may I help you? She is doing that. It's going to take 12 hours to do that. Mission complete. Dafina got the museum scavenged up. Uh, no damage received. We got some research, which is oh so helpful. Okay. And I'm going to send her over to do some of the scouting. I like that. Man. Bishop, where you at? 370. So he's going to be there for just under a cycle. Uh-huh. And Jin just arrived there. And it looks like they are... Okay. So I think once this group is done, Bonnie and them, I'll send them up all the way this way to... Uh, things. Uh, come on, Steve. Use your English. 
head up there and start knocking out some of these raiders. All right, we're 46% on that. You are needing clothing. What are we doing on clothing? Now, this is what I'm not sure about. And feel free to educate me in the comment section for this. It says I have 33 basic clothing. So is this... I have 33 clothing for the 55 people I have, or have 33 total? That's what's throwing me off. In fact, I'm going to plant another flax. Small field. And I'm going to request flax. Go there. Mainly because the more materials I have, the more clothing I can make. Obvious stuff. This maintenance depot, I'm going to need a second one here, probably soon, to work up here. Or just build a second one up there. An old bear, humongous in size, but limping as if injured, was seen walking past the camp a while ago. Going after it to hunt it down may give the colony a good amount of meat, though it may still have a lot of fighting despite its injury. I'm sitting on quite a bit of food, but I do like the idea of having extra food available. Obvious reasons. The group returns, barely able to carry the massive body of an adult bear. Judging from the wounds, it de had definitely been injured already. Fortune favors the bull today, and the meat will feed the colony for days. Was kind of hoping for a little bit of happiness on that one, but uh, I guess not. All right. All right, 12 of 17. So I'm assuming these shanties... Yeah, there's plenty of space in these shanties up, way up here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm actually going to demo both these guys, for reasons. There we go. And then I will build kind of a dirt road over this way for it. Dirt over that way for it. And then remove that dirt road over here. Probably down this way too. So I can build a couple more shanties kind of pointed out this way towards the woods. No, it doesn't even matter. I can't put that one there anyway. All right, so we'll build a little road right here. There we go. So we got three more shanties being built up, and hopefully we can start... Hopefully we can kind of phase out the tents here in the next few videos. We now, fortunately, now have people living up here, which is, again, totally fine. Oh, there's a berries right here, too, so I can move that over this. I was hoping to just have some food storage here. Let's request... Oh, wow. Didn't realize we had that much options for food. I really didn't. All right, so we have... Nobody's sick right now. I know we have the Beyond tomorrow, and I'm probably going to do that before the end of this video, too. I'll lock into that. Now, as this cycle ends... Specialist ready for action. Finally, something has arrived. Cool. They're all here. Hey, we got some fun boxes right by here. That's going to be very helpful. And we can get some sturdy clothing. Let's go ahead and grab that. She'll be able to grab 10 per hour, so that's two cycles of that. Oops. Amara, what do you got for me? Nothing. Okay. Actually, no, what is this? Okay, 36 medicine here. That's all we got in that section. New vehicle found. And we have that there. We also have some fuel. Whatever car are we talking here? Abandoned station wagon. Perfect. Yep. I'm going to send her to the car because she can grab the car, come down here, grab Bishop, bring him back down here, and we should keyword, uh, be able to go. I also don't know where my car went, the one I grabbed. I guess I, if I go to the world map, they can find it. But his health is not there yet. Huh? Your orders? Yeah, we're going to let these folks heal up for a cycle. And then I'll send multiple. I'll send at least two of them back into the field. 
Got medical there. We're waiting on materials here because we don't have anything to grow with yet. Do anything there. Building tools. That's always good. More shanties are done up. We've made a new discovery. Roof supports. Cool. So these buildings are even more... More. I don't know. Um, happiness is increasing. Even this is poor shelter. I mean, we've, we're getting people into shanties instead of tents. Yeah, because like, this person, there's only one in here, but there's two in here? Yeah. So I may actually, if I can demo this one, move them over here. Probably demo this whole row and build like, a couple of shanties over this way. I don't think I can move the school, unfortunately, because of the well. But build another line of shanties on this side. That clean water storage. How much science am I rolling with? 500 science. Hello. All right. These are improved shanties. Let's actually... How much does this give us? It's a happiness bonus. I'm actually going to go for that. Um, my plastic is critically low right now. But that's also why I've got two teams working on it. My recycler. Actually, hang on. Hold up. Let's research... Wait. I cancel you. Damn it. Okay. So I gotta do that one. Then I'll actually work... So go to this. Then this. So we'll go trash evaluation. Scavenger teams. It's gonna let us do more stuff over here. I, th I do not think I am doing... Well. When it comes to... Um, research. I don't think I'm doing it optimally. Which is fine. It's, you know, first playthrough. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I think if I keep playing this series and maybe kick it to Saturdays and Sundays, then I'll be able to kind of get a better feel for what's going on with it. Admittedly, I thought I could actually move the buildings. Like, if I moved my lumber yard over to here and did that, that'd be fine. Speaking of building... I'm going to build it kind of like right there. It's going to let me kind of scout out this way. Give me a lot to look at. I also have some plastic trash and more berries over here. Always good. I'll see any maintenance. It's the maintenance. Yeah, maintenance depot. Gotcha. All right. Let's speed things up a little bit. See what, see what we're doing. Dawn is irradiated. That's totally fine, because we actually have quite a bit of medicine. Again, good stuff for us. Researching home improvement. There we go. Cool. All cleaned up. Can't complete the order. Check. Yes. Cool. Now we got two people in the car. And they're carrying fun boxes and materials. We're just going to have the station wagon return to the colony. We're going to take a little bit of time for it, but we're good on that front. Amara found another police station. More weapons available to us. And... I think I'm going to ha start having her make her way back to the colony. 32 medicine here. There's no risk to her if I do that, actually. So I'll actually have her make her way and start getting more medicine out of the collapsed apartments. And we should be good. Uh, back at the colony itself, though, Boone, Bonnie, and Nomad are all available to me. Let's go back out to the map before I do anything else. See what we need to do. So antibiotics are here. The bandits are there. More bandits there. I almost want to do that construction site. There's the observatory. I don't, this is the kicker, I just don't want to sacrifice any of who I have right now. Yes. All right, Dafina's getting materials and then we're gonna have the convenience store available on that front. Could put Bonnie and Boone 
and send them at the nomad camp. I do like that idea, mind you. Let's go back into the city. How may I help? Wait, what's what's Nomad's attack? 12 damage, 12, 25. You know what? I'm sending all three of them. Yes. I'm gonna send the whole, I'm gonna send all three of these folks. I think most yeah, they're back to full. We're good. Okay, um, I don't see the car. So I guess the car is gone until I get the garage done up? That's kind of a kick in the face. Alright. Well, shit. And she can't go as far. Yep. I'm sending... What's up? All right. All right, yeah, I'm sending all of them down this way. We're going to engage the Nomad camp. Figure out what's going on with that. Um, what I could do with the station wagon, actually, is we'll send it over to here to be on, uh, to be on tomorrow. We're going to investigate that site. I think it's the best I can do right now. So lesson learned here. I do need to get I do need to beam line toward the garage because I don't have the car right now. Okay, so safety. Reinforced gate, we do need at some point. General storage, leadership, that's good. Oh, wells. That's good. In power. Yep. So, it looks like we're gonna queue that up, too. Son of a bitch. Alright, so, lesson learned from this. Don't bring the car straight back to the colony unless you have a garage available for it. That's all I got right now. Um, what are we doing this? 71, 81, 60, 75. Alright, Dawn is mutated. Dawn, can you hurry up and get there, please? Scout tower is done, and it looks like another shanty is done. Awesome. Three of three, three, one, three, one, three, 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 three. Three. Interesting. That the folks uh, don't want to. Okay, that actually works that they're there for that. Hmm. I'll drop Jin off, I think, at the at Beyond Tomorrow. And then I'll bring Bishop back, because he's got the fun boxes we need to build the brawl pit. And that's definitely gonna be needed for us. There's a new quest available. No oh, great. More quests. During the first years after the initial incident. Airplanes often turned into flying coffins, and electromagnetic pulses and magnetic storms fried their in-flight computers with little warning. It's still possible to find plane wrecks turned grave sites for their unfortunate passengers. A specialist has spotted one such site, undisturbed and ready for looting not too far from here. Alright, let's take a look. Oh shit. Alright. So let's actually pull Your orders. Not going to happen. I'm gonna divert Nomad for that. Bit of a problem for me too, because I was hoping to use him for the engagement. Could Ready. Not gonna work. Yep. Yeah, it's gonna work here, trust me, right? Negative. I'm sending anybody over this way. We can take on the Wasteland Nomads, get down to these two things, scout these sectors out, flank them from behind. That's all I got right now. That's just the best uh, scenario I can do at the moment. Hannah's mutated. Well, Hannah, have you gone to see the doctor? And it says right here, we have we have space. Yeah, we're doing good on growing here. 
Looks like this person needs a tool. Okay, so the clothes are actually how many clothes we have. Fairly important, which means I have about half my colony running around naked. Not sure what to think of that, actually. Okay, that's growing. Go ahead and pull you off of that. If I recall correctly... Yeah, harvest speed's 100%. No, wait, I haven't done that one yet. I've done just this one. Advanced farming would be good, too. But not, not, not right this second. Okay, just so... Okay, we got some more berries over here. And we've got Victoria doing a slow scan on this guy. Get that done up. All right. We're doing okay. Hmm. I'm going to open up a me uh, somebody else in the medical tent. We're running low on people again, but hopefully we can get another specialist here relatively soon. I'll speed up the game, and we'll wrap up here in a moment. We've made a new discovery. Home improvement is done, and home improvement is... Improve shanties. So let's actually do an improved shanty before we leave here. So, wow. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to kick it from 4 to 5. Interesting we're seeing mutations right now. I wonder if people are just like getting too close to the pollution on this stuff or what. We got a specialist available. Let's also see what Dafina found before I do that. Oh yeah, All right, she's done. She's got clothing. This one can almost be a way station, I think. Baron, a fighter. Oh, wow. Um, I do need another fighter. So, let's go ahead and recruit him. So we got scout, fighter, scientist, scientist, scavenger, scavenger, fighter. Scout, scout. Okay, yeah, cool. Let's send you out to the map. So you got stuff to do. You're going to return to the colony, best best possible speed. Gonna take, wow, cycles, plural, to get there. All right, car's going to get here. Next cycle. Yes. Baron, I want to send you out here. Consider it done. Hmm? Can't All right, do that. we're going to get there. So now we've got, we got a scavenger who can help us with this stuff. And two fighters. We're going to clear out the nomads very quickly, but I think there's only two spots to engage, so maybe Baron and Bonnie leading the assault on this one. Um, do we have anybody off to the west? She is collecting medicine, which is fine. I'll bring her back to the colony here in a moment. And hopefully we can get this improved shanty done up. We got materials. Pretty low. Got... It says 17 of 69 giggity uh, shelter spaces right now. Okay. Yeah, I think improved shelters are going to be really, really helpful. It's just a matter of getting them. So let's see here. Now, in shanties, you have to do them as upgrades. Dang. Something just popped. Now. Got a lot of colonists uh, coming as mutated at the moment, which is uh, not good. I'm going to go ahead and pop one person out of the lumber yard. Give me an extra carrier. Scrapper, we're doing okay with. But I do need as much plastic as I can get my hands on. I'm past the 30 minute mark right now. And I'm actually recording this during my lunch break this last Friday. But let's go ahead and speed this up. See if we can get this built up before anything else goes nuts over wrong with the game. And a fifth colonist is mutated. 
raises questions of why. Right, cool. We have our improved shanty. That's hopefully going to give some uh, good boosts to happiness. And we're going to go ahead and slap somebody in there so we can have that being treated as quick as we can. Everybody's got tasks right now. A plastic deposit has been depleted. I see the deposit. Which one got depleted out? Oh, this one did. Very nice. Wow. Plenty underneath it. All right. Move the work area over to that. Cool. And we are all set. I think it's a good spot to wrap up the video because in the next video, we're going to go ahead and see what's going on with that plane crash site. Hopefully get a few more things done and figure out the Beyond Tomorrow stuff as well. We also need to start decontaminating our outhouses. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. I will see you all in the next video.